the main purpose of this video is to uh, teach you that how you can import geometry into design modeler so there are the two ways that you can import geometry uh, into design modeler number one is that you can go to file menu and uh, you can import the external geometry and there are the many types that you can import here and the second way is that uh, for example if i delete the like this command here second option is that attached to the active CAD geometry it means that if the, you have installed some uh, CAD modeling software and either you made the geometry in the CAD software or you have opened some geometry already made geometry by yourself or by someone else you opened on your computer so now that geometry is available that that can be attached to the your design modeler uh, very quickly okay so for example here i have the uh, uh, nrel 5 megawatt wind turbine geometry that, that i made in the uh, server this is right now it's a 2024 uh, version uh, service pack 3 but uh, this geometry was originally made in the uh, solid 2020 anyhow it, it doesn't make any difference uh, which model of solid we are working on okay so the procedure is that you will go to the file menu and then click on the active uh, attached to active CAD geometry you can see that this has already picked the source that is the uh, 5 megawatt wind turbine nrel this is the like uh, model i am referring to and uh, it's the target geometry type is a workbench so simply you have to click on generate that's all okay so now you can see that the geometry has appeared here uh, it's in the frozen state so this will be shown as a transparent and uh, you can uh, unfreeze or you can just display them without the transparency by clicking on the unchecking the frozen body transparency that's all okay so this was about the how you can import geometry into design model